Hey, what's going on guys? The Horror Man back with a Wild Eye review of Return of the Scarecrow. Return of the Scarecrow is a 2017 horror film written and directed by Walter Lodes III. This DVD was distributed by Wild Eye Releasing. Five young people plan to go camping by a lake in the woods not far from the old hometown of a couple of them. Before heading out to the lake, they stop for some food and drinks at a local bar. While there, the bartender tells them a story, or supposed urban legend. Allegedly, centuries ago, the town was inhabited by a family of witches and warlocks. Despite most of the witches keeping to themselves, one of the warlocks practiced his black magic out in the open. This, of course, was not a welcomed act by the other town folk. The warlock then made matters worse when he kidnapped someone from town. The citizens rose up, formed a lynch mob, and chased him down. The warlock was sent to the mental institution in town, but the rest of his family of witches and warlocks broke him out. This caused another uprising, and the family of black magic practitioners were hanged. The townspeople did not want to burn the bodies, so instead they buried them near the lake. The same lake by which the group of friends are about to camp. As rumor has it, the spirit of the evil warlock escaped into a local cornfield and inhabited the body of a scarecrow. And now, depending on who's telling the story, every 30 or 5 or 15 years, the Scarecrow returns. Like any other group of friends in a slasher film, these five ignore the warnings and head to the lake anyway. The first thing they do when they get there is go skinny dipping. You've gotta love gratuitous nudity so early on in a movie. One of the guys and one of the girls stays behind while the other three swim naked. When the three return from their swim, they bring back the burlap sack head of a scarecrow they found. Sure enough, soon after, four of the five friends are brutally killed by the scarecrow. The only survivor is the virgin, Josephine. The film then cuts to present day where Josephine is now the bartender in that same local bar. A new group of friends have stopped in for a drink on their way to the lake. Now it's Josephine's turn to tell the story, and she has personal experience. Once again though, the friends don't heed the warning. Overhearing the urban legend, two locals in the bar decide to play a prank on the city kids. They both dress up as scarecrows and follow them to the lake. They won't be the only scarecrows there, though. The evil scarecrow has returned once again. As the sheriff station phone receives call after call about scarecrows terrorizing the locals, a lynch mob is formed. Just like in the original story, the townsfolk, along with some of the city kids, come together to try to destroy the scarecrow once and for all. Return of the Scarecrow was so much fun, and this movie deserves way more attention. It has just the right amount of cheese, like an 80s slasher film. The acting is pretty much on that level too. The movie pulls sort of a Friday the 13th remake, where the first 25 minutes or so focus around a group of characters who are soon killed off, with the exception of one. The characters in this one, though, are still somehow more likable than the characters in the Friday the 13th remake. I love the sequence when the story about the witches and warlocks is told. It plays out through a series of cutouts, and it's pretty creepy. If you've seen the recent Candyman film, then it plays out the same way the story in that is told. Paper dolls on sticks, but extremely effective. I thought the story within a story within a story concept was awesome. The Scarecrow has a simple look to him, which really works in my opinion. And for a low budget film, the kills were well done too. There are some genuinely funny scenes, but I don't consider Return of the Scarecrow to be an overtly comedic horror film. That's a good thing, 
it wasn't over the top silly. Like I said earlier, we do get some gratuitous nudity, which is always a plus in my book. And I also liked the setting. The filming location was put to good use. I really enjoyed Return of the Scarecrow. Huge shout out to Wild Eye for releasing it. Have you seen it? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe.